Hello everyone, so today is um, quite an important update for you all. Um, there's a lot been happening in um, my world and I've not been keeping you updated very well um, simply because of pain and things like that. Um, first of all, I want to say I've got Jacob sort of chilling. So he might make an appearance, he might not. But if you hear some strange noises, then it's Jacob. He's currently playing with his bricks at the moment, so he should be quiet. So first of all, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then um, you will know that I've been having Braxton Hicks and things like that for the past week or so. Um, but I basically, I owe you all a, a huge apology, massive, because I last week I wasn't 38 weeks and five days or whatever it was. I was actually 37 weeks. Um, I got all my dates and weeks mixed up. I think... Um, when I went to 36 weeks, I skipped a week in my head and actually went to 37 weeks. I've been ahead of myself by a week for a little while now. So yeah, I'm not 39 weeks this week. I'm 38 weeks this week. So yeah, if you'll see on my Instagram, that's wrong, but I don't want to delete it because it's still part of a, a memory. We have a Jacob for as long as it takes him to get bored. Um, I think he's going to kick the tripod, so sorry if it moves or whatever. Um, yes, what was I saying? Yes, as you will be aware, um, I've been really, really struggling with SPD. Um, that has literally just got worse and worse and worse um, to the point where I'm literally on the sofa all the time and if anything happens with Jacob, like a poo or something, I have to call someone around to help me change it. Um, that is where I'm at and it's, yeah, it's, it's horrible. Um, with regards to like the agoraphobia and stuff, I've honestly never been more eager to get out of my flat. So there's, you know, there's one silver lining. I'm as soon as baby's born and I'm back on my feet and I'm not in pain, I'm, I'm going out. You're not gonna be able to stop me. <laughs> so <clears throat> yes, with regards to that, um, I spoke to my consultant about it, um, kind of thinking that he'd just be like, yeah and what do you want me to do about it but he's actually really really lovely and really um easy to talk to so i told him and he said right okay if your cervix is thank you jacob just to clarify it's wednesday today you want to get down mm. yeah just to clarify it is wednesday today and i saw my consultant yesterday so this is all um happened yesterday so yeah he said to me if I'm going to examine you and if your cervix is ready then we'll induce you straight away and of course I'm sat there like oh my god yes <laughs> um, so he examined me and he found that my cervix is really really soft and sort of ripe but it's still really high which is a shame because that meant that um, induction wasn't going to happen um, and he said, you know, if I do induce you, then it's just going to be a long and irritating process, which I completely understand. You know, I'm not feeling irritated by that at all. Um, so, yes, I've been booked for induction on the 21st of December, which, um, <coughs> and her due date is the 19th, so... Thank God I don't have to go over because I did some research and apparently because of my weight they're really, really unlikely to induce you because it will mean an increased risk of C-section. Um, so I kind of just thought that that wasn't going to happen but the fact that she, if she's not here, you know, I've got a date basically. What are you doing? Yeah. you stuck. Um, yeah, I've got a date to focus on. It's only 12 days away. So right now, today, I am 38 weeks plus four days. But yeah, the only reason I sort of worked out that I was on the wrong track was A, because I was like, hang on a minute, I'm 38 weeks, but I'm due on the 19th. What's going on there? Um, so I had to look at my notes and yeah, it was confirmed that I was very wrong. So I feel like I've gained a week, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. She'll be here when she's here. I'm just done with this level of pain now. It's absolutely ridiculous. I think the way I can describe it is um, imagine you've been horse riding for hours. Like your legs have constantly been open and been 
bash well this is going the wrong way <laughs> you've been riding a horse and you've been bashed in the groin for ages and that's basically what it feels like i feel like i'm walking like a cowboy all the time um nothing really helps now the crutches don't help my belt doesn't help um not even sitting on my ball helps anymore um i spend a lot of time in the bath baths are helping with regards to um, braxton hicks they are coming thick and fast to the point um where if i if this was my first pregnancy I'd be in and out of hospital thinking that I was in labour. With Jacob, I didn't really get Braxton Hicks. I got maybe two or three. Um, but yeah, this is it's, it's normally evening time. Every evening, it really, really hurts. Like, it starts at the top, gets pushed down into my cervix. And um, yeah, it hurts. So yeah, Braxton Hicks aren't fun. Um, TMI alert, I'm not too sure. Okay, so um, I'm going to be honest and say I have no idea what I was just saying. The phone rang, so I had to answer it. Um, I think it may have been something about Braxton Hicks. Oh, I think I was talking about my mucus plug. I'm really not sure if this is TMI, but sort of one bit went last week and I thought, oh, okay, that's that then. Labour will be happening tomorrow. Um, and then I lost another load yesterday. Um... I'm not getting too excited about that because with Jacob I was losing it for weeks. So. I think that's about it really. Um, I have another sweep booked in, um, stretch and sweep booked in on Tuesday. Um, he attempted to do one yesterday but obviously because my cervix, what are you doing? Because my cervix is so high um, it was quite difficult. Um, yeah so I've got another one booked in on Tuesday so hopefully that will move things along. Um, but Jacob was born at 40 plus 2, so, you know, my induction day is 40 plus 2. I actually went into labour. <laughs> He's looking in a mirror at himself. What are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully my labour will start on my due date, that'd be nice. Or it will start before that. My, my nan has told me that if... Um, I'm still in hospital on Christmas Day, then she will bring me in a Christmas dinner. Thanks, Nan. Anyway, I think that's about everything. Um, I'll be doing uh, daily updates on Instagram, so please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. Um, I'm also on Facebook, just a little family on Facebook. Um, I'll also leave a link to that, so there'll be regular updates, because obviously it's easier for me to just tap in a couple of things and just do a whole video. Hopefully the next video I plan to do will be my hospital bag, um, which is packed up quite tightly. So um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to doing that, but I, de I definitely um, want to film it for you. What are you doing? Come say goodbye. Yeah. You say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> you say bye-bye. Jacob. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, good boy. Look at all this hair. We did have a haircut last week. So yeah, anyway, Bye. I'm going to wrap this up now. Thank you very Bye. much for watching. And I will see you Bye. all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.